and welcome back and what we're going to be doing today is doing smooth groups smooth groups are basically what you do to smooth out your model I mean just, oh, sorry just come over to this and I mean look at this I mean it's edgy I mean it looks disgusting I mean you can just come up here and just select this if it comes down the computer's lagging and just apply a smooth modifier I mean oh that just totally messes up my whole model I mean what is that I mean that's just like the basics, I mean that's the first thing you'll probably ever use to smooth a model. Just delete that out. Now I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to start to smooth group it. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select faces that I want on one smooth plane. If you think about how it works then it gives each one a group and this group will smooth along no matter what. I mean I'll show you a bit better in a second. I think I could just add all these to the same smooth group. I'll see how it works in a second. Right now, I'm just going to come down in my editable poly to this area, smooth groups. Now at the moment, in fact, I'm just going to come back to it all and I'm going to take them all off because you, you get default ones for some reason and um, I just had to cancel them. I forgot to cancel them before, sorry. So basically what I did then, if I did it really fast, I selected my whole model and then I just took all the smooth groups off. You can always tell when something's got a smooth group on, because like if I click on this, and then that's got a smooth group on, and I come back and it's got a 1. If I put a 2 on this, ta-da! I mean, it's pretty pretty simple really, I mean, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to notice, to realise how it works. And if I select multiple ones, and if I select one without... Um, without a smooth group on then it tells me which ones in the ones I've selected like I've selected this one one sec ah right I think you get my point so I don't think I need to say it let's put that on it looks a bit disgusting but it doesn't matter <laughs> as usual it doesn't matter should be the new motto right I'm just gonna put number two on this put number two again One sec, I'm just going to come to this area and see how this looks with its own smooth group. In my opinion, that looks a bit better. See how this looks when I put number three on this. Just going to put number three on that. I think that's alright. Right, I'm going to come down to this area here. And I've actually got a slope along the whole edge of the weapon, so I'll just go and select it all. I think that's all of it. I'm just going to see which select which move group I've got up to because I forgot. And I'm just going to go to number four. I'll do exactly the same on the other side. And I'll put that on the same one. Now I'm going to. What should I do now? I'm just going to come up to this and I'm going to put this on its own smooth group it's because this has really got a hard edge oops let's come back, yeah I'm on number 5 I always forget, I mean I'm, I'm like the most forgetful person ever I always forget what smooth group number I'm on and I'm just going to come over to these and select all of these click 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 I mean, as you can see, this is fun packed, it's like the most fun thing I've done. I'm not going to go up into that area yet, I'm just going to start it off. In fact, I could probably. I know I'm going to do this area right. make sure Got reasonable I'm deselecting them on the other side right to start with I'm just gonna put this on number six and I can see which ones I haven't put on a smooth group make sure they're on Oh, 
Oh, I moved my model in. And do, try and do as quick as possible because it gets really boring. And basically, what you're doing is selecting faces. I mean, if anyone finds this enjoyable, then no offense, be pretty sad. <laughs> Damn, I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, right, I'm just gonna carry on on this side. I'm still on smooth group six, remember? So, bring these all together. Nope, that ends. Let's make sure I've got the whole of this trigger area on. Number six. There we go. Starting to look a bit smoother. Right now I'm just going to come on to this, I'm going to put this on number 7. In fact, I could just, no, I'll put this on, then I'll just go on this side, because I might end up selecting the ones on the other side. Right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix these two together, so I'm going to put them both on 6 and 7. Now, as you can see, they flow through into each other. But at the same time, this is not affected by that, etc, etc. In fact, I could even do it with these areas here, in fact I am, because... So at the moment I put these all on six. Just take them off and I'll put them on eight. See how it looks. I think it kind of looks better if it's not actually smoothed into the actual object. Do you know so you can kind of distinctly tell where the trigger starts? Yeah, I quite like that. Looks a bit better. You can always tell if you've got problems with your geometry as well when you do this because you normally get things like that black line, you can just see a faint black line. I mean, I don't think that's actually a problem, but you can distinctly tell things later on. I'm just going to select this area here and carry on going around. Um, which number are we on now? I'm on 9. Let's go on the other side, do the same on this side. Um, just going to see what that looks like when it's on the same one. Yeah, it's alright, it looks a bit better. Put them on the same one. Oh, wrong. Oh, crap, what's that? Yeah, well, there we go. That one's getting a bit messed up a bit, as you can see. So I'm just going to cut it up a bit to make sure the lighting's done properly. I think that should do it. I'm just going to select my whole model as usual. Yeah, to make sure some of the vertices are, are working properly. I think that's moving fine. It's moving fine. Right now I'm just going to go up to this one.
The fun never stops. Do 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 do. Oops. Right now, let's see how crap this looks. Then. Ah, uh, it doesn't look that bad. Kinda. <laughs> let's just see how it looks when I put this on. It's. Now you can make up your own decision, but I like that better. I think it's a bit more distinct and clear. Rather than that, it's just like, oh, that, that's actually alright, I suppose. Oh no, I'm just going to go with the way I had it. Just a second ago. Huh. Right, now I'll do exactly the same on this side. As you can see, it's really tiring. It's so boring. This one isn't it? Just gonna make sure I'm just gonna select that. Yeah, it's on ten. So I'll look. It's looking all right. Uh, ah, my buttons. I don't actually quite understand why this has got two buttons on each side, but the image references I've got seem to say it. <laughs> what one am I on now? I'm on twelve. going on there. I can see some problems in there. Let's make sure I get this on the right. Yeah, there we go. Aha. This hasn't actually finished. So I guess I'm just gonna have to quickly What is actually going on here? Hmm. Aha. Yeah, the magazine's going through my weapon. I'm just going to quickly pull this forward just to get rid of the problem. In fact, you're not even going to be able to see it, so I'm just going to leave it. I mean, I only just saw that when I was modeling, just smooth grouping it, so I don't think anyone else is. Especially when it's in the first person view. Right now I'm gonna come back down and see what smooth group I'm on. I'm on thirteen. I think that's it for this area. I have got this. I'm gonna do this the way I did this right next to me. That little other strange little button thing. I'm not gonna have the top edge on the same smooth group because I want it to be more distinct. 